In our previous lesson, we discussed about air pressure. The air pressure is not even in all the places. To understand this, we discussed how the level of air pressure decreases as we move upwards in the atmospheric layers. Now let's see how the wind speed and air pressure are related to each other. Consider this situation. This is point A. We have been asked to move to point B. Not a big deal, right? Now, from point B, you have to carry this heavy bag and go back to point A. Considering this scenario, let me ask you a question. In which case would your body feel more pressure? Practically, while moving from point A to point B, you can walk with ease, without much pressure on your body as compared to this case. And what's the reason behind it? This is because you need to carry only your body weight while going from point A to point B. While in this case, you need to carry some additional weight while moving from point B to point A. So you automatically reduce the speed to increase the potential of your body to carry more weight. Yes, this reduction in speed will help you carry more weight. Whereas the increase in speed reduces the pressure that your body can exert. The same logic applies to the moving air that is wind. When air moves with an increased speed, the pressure exerted by it reduces. A simple activity can help us to justify this fact. Hold a strip of paper between the forefinger and the thumb of your hand. Blow hard over the top of the paper strip. What do you think will happen? Well, some of us would think that the paper will move downwards. But what's happening to the strip of the paper? Yes, it moved upwards. As we blow over the paper, the speed of air increases and results in low pressure above the paper strip. And what about the air pressure below the strip? The air pressure below the paper strip is higher, hence it pushes the paper upwards. As there is a difference in the pressure exerted by air from these two directions, the net force is acting from the high pressure area to the low pressure area. So we can see that the increased wind speed reduces the pressure exerted by the air. Likewise, there are pressure differences occurring in nature. You may note that the air moves from the high pressure region to the low pressure region. For example, if there is high air pressure in region X and comparatively low air pressure in region Y, then the air moves from X to Y. Does this mean that pressure differences create the movement in air? Yes, that's true. The difference in the air pressure results in wind. But how does the speed of the wind increase or decrease? The answer is simple. If the difference in air pressure is more between the two regions, the air will move faster. The greater the difference, the faster the air moves. Here are the two points which can summarize our discussion. High speed winds are accompanied by reduced air pressure. And next, air moves from the region where the air pressure is high to the region where the air pressure is low. Wind speed and air pressure are closely related. The above two points explain the relationship between the two.